I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Ida B. Wells. I take three fingers on the left hand side in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, and leave it floating. I come right back over here where my dot was and I'm going to extend a curve line down, slightly curve line down, curve line up, curve line up, curve line over, keep going, curve line down, and leave it floating. I come back over here to the left and now starting right here I'm just going to draw slightly wavy line up, over, down, and connect. And I'm going to come right above here and I'm just going to draw another slightly wavy line over and connect. I come right down here and I put a little baby circle. Okay. Now, starting over here on the left, I'm going to draw a little straight line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Come back over here to the left and I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line over, up, and connect. I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line up and connect. Starting on the left, I draw a big curve line down off the page. Come on the right, big curve line down off the page. Right here in the center, straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right. Draw a straight diagonal on the right again straight diagonal on the right, one more, come on the left, straight diagonal down, one, one more, and there we go. Now I come back to the left and I'm going to connect this little curve line and I'm going to add a little wavy wavy line down and connect. I come inside and I'm going to draw a curve line on the left, curve line, on the right. Come back to the left. Curve line, curve line down, up, connect. Come on the right, curve line, down, up, connect. Come inside, draw a curve line. Come over here on the right, curve line. Come right here in the center. Curve line in, up, and leave it floating. Come down in the center, slightly curved line, little curved line below, curved line up, down, connect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loop de loop all the way around my hairline. Keep going. And I'm going to bring it back up and do the part by her forehead. Keep going. I'm going to come up and do this space. Loop-de-loop -loop it at the top. Keep going. I'm going to come over and I'm going to do her eyebrows. Loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm going to color in the inside part of her eyeballs. Okay. There we go. All right. Now let's see how we are going to color her in. Okay, the first little part I'm going to do is this baby circle, and I'm going to make that yellow. Then I'm going to take my purple, and I'm going to color in this space purple. We're going to blend these colors in a minute. I'm going to color this space, loop-de-loop -loop it, purple. We're going to color this space in. And I'm going to color this space, loop-de-loop -loop it. And we're just getting that first, 
coat of color. These are all going to be blended. You'll see how it works. Don't forget the little part down here. Bring it up all the way to the top space. Then, since I have my purple out, I'm going to come and draw the middle section purple. Skip one, draw this in purple. Come over on the left, skip one, put this on purple. And I think I can do one more purple here. Okay. Now, I take my blue, regular blue, and I color in this space blue, this space blue, and this space blue. In the very bottom back, bottom part, oops, I forgot a blue. This should be blue. Now everybody's going to end up with a different amount of blues and purples because we all draw differently. But this last part right here on the shoulder part, this should be black. And the left, this should be black. Okay, now that I have my black out, I'm going to recolor, double color, over my purple with a loop-de-loop. -loop. Now, you don't want to color so dark that you cannot see a little tinge of the purple. Not a lot, but a little bit of the purple. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Next, brown. Now, I was trying to find a picture of Ida B. Wells smiling, and it just wasn't going to happen. She was so serious about her work and civil rights. She was a civil rights activist. She believed women should have the vote. She was against vigilante mobs lynching black people and she was out there out front so her face her countenance is serious so once you do all this facial colors lightly go over the purple on her lips just to give her a little bit of color a little pop of color and this is her neck okay she was very serious, serious demeanor. She was a journalist. I mean, she wrote for the newspapers. Okay, once you've done that, now I took my purple and I'm drawing straight lines on the right, all the way across, come back up and do the left. Very famous African-American woman. Very, very important in civil rights. Okay, let's see what she looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Ida B. Wells all colored in. Very important civil rights activist back in the 1890s. And uh, she was just made a Barbie doll, which I think is significant for our girls now. Okay, bye-bye.